Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what they all say Hi everyone! I've been shopping for a microphone ever since I posted the first voiceover video. Before, I tried really hard to find the right position to not get the popping sound when I say things like S's and P's, and overall bad sound quality had been bothering me. I looked into microphones a lot and this was the best one I found based on my needs and the environment I have. I'm actually talking into the mic right now and hope it sounds much better. So I'm really into 1960s and 70s graphic design. I love the minimalistic, bold, and aesthetic vibe so much. I couldn't really find art I like, or even if I find something, it's like thousands of dollars. So I actually decided to purchase a couple large high quality files and order frames separately. These posters are some of my favorite designs from the 60s and I bought these matte black metal frames to match the posters. And this is a handmade mirror from Turkey apparently. I already bought a couple other mirrors but had to return them since they didn't quite fit my style. I was so happy this third one finally worked out well. You have no idea how excited I was when I finally received my dining table. I've been eyeing this table forever but was very hesitant because of the price and the fact that I've never seen it in person. But I'm so glad I got the table and the matching bench. I can't wait to hang the light fixture above the table which will reflect in the mirror so beautifully. Today, Jeff had a Zoom beer tasting class that his company provided for free, so I joined. They sent a few different beers, snacks, and even a cute beer glass ahead of time. I made a quick dinner to enjoy with the drinks, and I thought it was a lot of fun to learn about different types of craft beer. My keyboard has been in a storage room for a couple years and I'm not good at piano by any means. I played violin and viola since the age of 6 for about 13 years, but always wanted to learn piano instead as a kid. I've never properly learned piano and basically taught myself as an adult, so I definitely don't play it properly. As you can see, but it's something that I like to do in my free time and I hope I get better at it. I'm doing all the Christmas food shopping today. This place has really good French pastries and we're gonna get a few little things instead of a big cake since we're gonna get a big cake for New Year's Eve in a week.
everything looks so good and I wanted to get one of everything. I also wanted to try out all the macaroons they had but ended up getting these 5 items and a salmon breakfast sandwich for now. Got these three natural wines and we're gonna try this one for tonight. Also gotta have a cheese plate and the pastries we got earlier. about to have our breakfast. My go-to breakfast is a simple fried egg with sourdough bread and coffee. Also got this Marshall speaker for the living room area. I actually really wanted to get a bigger model but this was the only black and white design they have and all the bigger ones had a lot of gold and warm colors which is obviously not acceptable in my place. I'm gonna be making a quinoa salad and Cornish ham today. I don't really like cooking a whole chicken like this because I just don't like seeing the complete body shape of animals when I cook but this was something that Jeff used to have for Christmas growing up so I thought it would be nice to try cooking it for him this year and I'm making seasoning for the Cornish hen add lots of ghee, you can also use regular butter instead um, and lots of garlic and honey and salt and Italian seasoning and basically spread all over outside between the skin and the meat and inside as well I chopped off some veggies and added some avocado oil on the top the quinoa is ready and I have red onions red bell peppers cucumbers cherry tomatoes and cilantro. Simply mix everything and add the garlic powder, pepper, salt, olive oil, and lemon juice. And this is the side sauce for the Cornish hen, barbecue sauce, sriracha, and parmesan powder. It tastes like Korean fried chicken sauce. It's really, really good. Having the second wine we got yesterday, it's a Riesling from Germany, which was really good too. It's time for some dessert. We're having these tarts, which I thought were the best out of all the pastries we got. We talked for a few hours and watched a movie called Don't Look Up. I know it's a very popular movie, but it wasn't my cup of tea. And the whiskey Jeff is having was one of his Christmas presents for me, and he's just loving it so much. I tried it a little bit, but the whiskey still just tastes like gasoline to me, whether it's expensive or not. We went to a movie theater to watch the new Matrix movie. Jeff is absolutely obsessed with the series, so we had to check it out. We realized we haven't been to a theater for over two years at least. Hey, 
I'm picking up a crepe cake for the night. I custom ordered it a week ago and I'm very excited to try it. Everything looked really good, but I decided on this a chocolate milk crepe cake over here. Now we're heading to H Mart. I've been wanting to try these shine musket grapes from Korea, but I really didn't want to pay 40 bucks for her grapes. However, it's a special day and we decided to try it today since we couldn't get to try it last time in Korea. Getting some Wagyu beef. And love these spicy Korean almonds. They're so good. Then went to Trader Joe's getting some yellow tulips and some other stuff here. We came home and I just couldn't help trying these grapes immediately to finally see what all the hype is about. Oh, come on. Yeah, as you can hear, I was very disappointed. I mean, don't get me wrong, they were good grapes, but not that special and definitely not worth $40. Anyway, I'm making dinner now. We're just gonna have some Wagyu beef and salad. Since the cake seems pretty heavy with lots of calories, we're trying to have a lighter dinner. I don't really like champagne, so we got this sparkling wine instead. You might wonder what the difference is, and I don't really know the technical answer, but it definitely feels different. I don't like champagne bubbles, almost feels like a boiling sensation in my mouth. But anyway, this was a um, natural sparkling raspberry wine and it was amazing. I could already smell the silky chocolate. I wish they had a smaller cake though. It's gonna take more than a week to finish it and the last couple pieces did get drier after a week. Yeah, the layers looked so perfect and it was seriously so, so good. Definitely our favorite cake we've had so far in Boston. Wow. Oh, wow, it's really good. I'm making a very traditional Korean soup called tteokguk. In Korean culture, we eat this to celebrate the new year, and it's pretty easy to make. Jeff is next to me watching me cook right now, trying to learn so that he could make it for me someday. It's a simple dish and it's really yummy and comforting. I always make it with no salt so that I can enjoy it with lots of kimchi. I really hope everyone had a great finish to 2021. Happy New Year and thanks for watching.